and the armed forces are to start delivering fuel to gas stations across Britain in an effort to ease a supply crisis, which has brought much of the UK to a standstill. Hundreds of filling stations have run dry, causing chaotic scenes as drivers panic by and attempt to stockpile fuel. The government is blaming a lack of truck drivers and unprecedented demand driven by scaremongering. Critics point to the fact that many foreign truck drivers left the country because of Brexit. as the UK historically relied upon EU drivers, um, a foreign workforce to come in and, and prop up the supply chain. Um, you know, last year in 2020, there's approximately 25,000 EU drivers that went back to the continent and that's going to leave a hole. Let's get more on this from our reporter, Jenny Graham. Uh, Jenny, welcome. Drafting in the army seems like quite a drastic step. Are things as bad as they sound? It's certainly a serious situation. Last week, we saw scenes of chaos, frankly, long lines of drivers at gas stations, scenes of frustration, even fights breaking out at the pumps because people simply couldn't get access to fuel. And there are still shortages in some parts of the country, especially London and the southeast of England. That's why 200 military personnel are being drafted in from Monday, and the UK government is issuing visas to hundreds of tanker drivers from abroad. Now, in addition to those visas, the government has also been urging anyone with a truck driving license um, to help out. What can you tell us about that? Yes, yeah, so the British um, Department for Transport has been sending out around one million letters to anyone with a heavy goods vehicle license. And, you know, believe it or not, among them, among some of the people receiving these letters are Germans resident in the UK who have never actually been behind the wheel of these kind of trucks. We can see a tweet now from one person who got a letter. Uh, he's Peter Neumann, a former advisor to the German government and professor of security studies. He said, and I think we can take a look at this, good to know that if politics and academia don't work out, I always have the option of becoming a truck driver <laughs> in Brexit Britain. We actually spoke to him earlier and let's take a listen to what he said. It's clearly that they are desperate and that they've given no consideration to the actual situation that people like myself are in. Yes, I live in the UK, but I'm a professor. I have a good career. I have no interest in pursuing a career in truck driving. And to be honest with you, I can't drive a truck. Um, it would be very dangerous for me to drive a truck, and I have no intention of doing that in the future. OK, so it doesn't sound like that professor is planning to be driving a truck anytime soon. Um, but what about Boris Johnson? How has he responded to this and has this been affecting his popularity? Well, Boris Johnson says the situation is stabilising, although many voters are blaming his government for not handling this crisis properly. And many say that Brexit has directly contributed to this situation, this shortage of drivers. Despite this, latest opinion polls in the UK suggest that actually the Conservative Party, Boris Johnson's party, have a narrow lead over the opposition Labour Party right now. That will be good news for Boris Johnson going into his Conservative conference in Manchester on Monday. Uh, the focus of that conference is going to be levelling up society and what the Conservatives say uh, constantly right now, building back better after the, p the pandemic. 
But obviously the pandemic's not over and with winter around the corner, it's going to be very difficult for him to get away from this fuel crisis. All right, we will be keeping an eye on that. Our reporter, Jenny Graham, thank you so much for joining me in the studio.